That's the ones I want. <laughs> well, I won't. I think the first thing we do is uh, make a motion to adopt the minutes, right? Sure. Well, I'll, I'll make a yeah. motion yeah. to adopt the minutes. What? Agenda yeah, first. Agenda. Well, I don't need to approve that, do we? Approval. approval of the agenda is the first thing. That's so, first yeah, so we, I'll move to approve the agenda then. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Like going in. Or even the other part. You need a gavel. There's oh, there is one. Oh, you don't say that again. I'm sorry, I mentioned it. <laughs> All right, uh, minutes, and now we do need to. Everyone, read the minutes. First one, I problem with those. Who wouldn't? Pretty exciting. <laughs> Games is on the back. That's right. Yeah. I think we need a motion to. I'm sure I'll make the motion oh. <laughs> for the adoption of the, of the uh, minutes. Yeah. Second? Hi, Pam. You with us? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm a little under the weather. So we're with we're you. gonna bring her along. I know. We're just gonna I'm drag her with us. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Public comments. Okay. Uh, Good. Election of a chair. Can we do this in her absence? We, I don't think we can. She has to. Oh, can we? Well, she agreed. Oh, well, well, she, did she agree? But you know? She has agreed to be the chair. And she's signed off on minutes already. And she also already signed off on the minutes okay. and the agenda. I think we should do it. All right, let's do it. I'd like to make a motion that we let Catherine be the chair. No, oh, Sonia. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a change. What is that? It's a secret email. <laughs> Secret meeting without us. That's well, we see Skylar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Sonia, Sonia, give your chair. Fantastic. Yeah. Make a motion. I. Yeah. Oh, uh, you making that motion? Making a motion. Okay, I'll second chair. it. Yeah. All the flavor. I, I am if she really is in agreement. If she yeah, is. Yeah. She is. There she is. Oh, there there she is. is. Well, that was so close. You can't <laughs> bail now. <laughs> We just, I got halfway here, forgot something, had to drive all the way oh, over. Oh, yeah. so sorry, we okay. just voted you in as chair. Good. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Here's your seat. Yeah, here's your seat. Yeah. 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 That was the first time. That's a vicious Boom. <laughs> Thank you for starting. You, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Well, let's get your coat off. Yeah, yeah. we'll let you get yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just yeah. finish electing you? Are you sure? No, I'm just No, we voted. Yeah, we voted. Yeah, we voted. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. We voted. That's why I said we're running. Do you need a joker? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So we've done the agenda, the minutes, and the election, and then we're just on the action. 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 Wow. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What number are we? 5.1. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're frozen. All right. right. Oh, the accents are on page 7 of the agenda. Yeah. All right. Share feedback regarding committee members. <laughs> that that <laughs> part I was a little confused about it? because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, why, uh, what was I supposed to do on that? Tell me. I'd love, to, I'd love to just keep your ear open. I think, I think you, yeah. Uh, okay, so there's been absolutely there was none. Stuff. There's been none, yeah. Yeah. So you heard some. I heard some, and I asked all those people if they really were concerned to write letters. Like 10 people said, if you're really concerned, write letters. And they all agreed yeah. to, and none of them did. Nobody wrote a letter. And every time I see them, they're like, oh, I'm going to write that letter. I'm like, well, if you don't, you don't. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll have lots of time to speak to it, you know, yeah. as things roll along here. Yeah, well, um, once the booze wears off, they all that. Hey. <laughs> they like to talk. They so yeah, like, like to talk. talk. Uh, yeah, and we did have a discussion. I can't remember where it was about this as being one of the one of the things that had come up um, at the last. Oh, it had to be there. This, the yeah, the steering be. committee. Um, we were going to work on the communications around why the municipal hall is in there and what we're losing if the municipal hall is out of it 
um, as well as we've had the um, design team pull together the actual square footage of the municipal hall because we talked about how even if municipal hall wasn't in that building you would still need reception the conference room a community meeting room um, probably two closed offices so for the manager of rec and biac um, and four open office workspaces for the recreation staff so you would still need some infrastructure in there so without all of those spaces how much more is municipal hall actually taking up we need our meeting space because we have the meeting space there and the council chamber which is the conference room so those things are community spaces so that's what we kept in what came out of that and i have it upstairs but the exact square footage was um i want to say around three thousand square yeah, feet three, 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 is what's left so after you take out the rec offices mm -hmm. and the rec reception and the community center or the conference the room, room and the um and the kitchen and the meeting room, you have about 3,000 square feet left you um, put that somewhere of the municipal website. hall. So Those that the communications that. team is going to put that as an FAQ awesome. and mm -hmm. start spinning um, the communication that way to say that this is, you know, out of a 16,000 square foot building, this is the percentage that is actually municipal hall offices that, would, that are in there. Um, yeah, there's other, there's, uh, and we basically decided to move ahead on, on that track mm -hmm. with the municipal hall there. Of course, the mayor was saying that, you know, we could put a, hell, a lot cheaper building up as a municipal hall, just a, a little apartment type building. You know, that's all, it wouldn't be the same expense. But we argued that the synergies from having the municipal offices in there outweigh the fact that you might save a little money doing it separately. The other thing that people have to understand, one of the reasons they want to move the municipal hall out there is because they want to put a gym in there and some, you know, some ball courts and a whole bunch of other things in there. Cool. That's, oh, cool. Yeah. Not I gonna, saying to you like it's not hey, going to happen. Not going to happen. Yeah. Well, we yeah. can't trade the municipal yeah. hall for a pool? No. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Unfortunately, so, I, and I think I think a lot of people are thinking along those lines. That yeah. There's X number of dollars, and we're gonna, you know, and if we take the, the municipal hall out of there, then we can, you know, put that three thousand dollars into something else, or a gymnasium, yeah. which is. Yeah. And we just said, yeah, that meeting with SD forty five, which is interesting. So there's no, they're very excited about the whole, mm -hmm. you know, a campus idea, community center. Center campus the and school and bike, uh, you know, who yeah. is this? Bike school, school district, school district board, board. Oh, school board right. was here. Um, they got money. Yeah. No, have they have zero money. They got less than we do. Yeah. yeah. I think. How That's do we good. gauge with any of the, when, when questions come up about how the new community center will get utilized, how do we really gauge, I guess you never really know, how, how broad, you know, a sentiment is. Like, this particular one about Washington Mini Hall being in the, like how do you gauge and how much time and energy do you mm -hmm. put in mm -hmm. to, is this, uh, you know, just a few very vocal people? Is this a, a, a broader well, sentiment in the community? Because, you know, it, to me, it's, it's, if it's a broader thing, obviously you have to put time and energy yeah. in, into responding. Yeah. If it's just a few people, of course, you know, everybody's gonna have some opinions or others and how, how do you gauge how much time and energy to put into that sort of thing. Okay. That's my I, I, I think the key to it is is a communication. Yeah. And the fact that this is an integral part of this community. And it's not a community rec center, let's not fool no. ourselves there. Really and we so. gotta make sure that that doesn't get sort of broad based. Um, it's not a recreation center, it's a community yeah. center and this is just a part of the campus and it makes it work, which which is what it's all about for the money. But the other part of the equation is we have to, and I think it's imperative that we get some expansion land. That's the other part of it. Yeah. And if you can tell people, look, this is all we got right now, but we're, we've got this phase land. Phase one. Yeah. Phase yeah, two. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have to give them design so phase two. Cool. That's all. <laughs> That's so cool. I think also just making sure that people realize we'd still be using the Bix, the gym, like mm -hmm. the gymnasium there would still be, and actually there would be more time available in it because we would shift some programming out of it into a large yeah. multi-purpose room or the small multi-purpose room or the fitness studio. Yeah. And, um, I think people I might also understand uh, 
if we, in the FAQs uh, or somewhere in terms of giving the committee information, offered some uh, uh, similar situations in communities more or less our size, because I think people don't understand how limited we are because of our small population. Mm -hmm. So if we could say, you know, this community has this population and this is typically the kind of uh, facilities they can yeah. manage. And, then, you know, in a community this size, this is all you can have because you only have so many people. It's just not realistic. That might give people a little bit of a frame of reference for what's realistic and what isn't. I think, um, yeah, that, that, that's a really good point. Unfortunately, wasn't there a comment that came up that there's very few community centers that do have Yeah, I don't think there's such a but, um, well, no, but it's more about the size of the, and, and the scope of the community center. You can say, well, you know, here's this tiny community and we have this whole municipal and all our other community stuff under one roof. How yeah. is that? You yeah. know, nobody else has that. Yeah. So, Highland Y has something similar. They don't have the municipal hall in it, but they have something very similar. They have like a right? library, yeah. Highland Y. They have like the um, library, a school, and then something else built onto it. Yeah, there might have been a library yeah. as a yeah. as a partner in there, yeah. but that doesn't. But it's still the same idea. It's the same. It's yeah, the same shared space. space. Yeah. And right. now that we've got Cove Commons, you know that will take some pressure off too in terms of meeting rooms and so on. I it will. Right. However, the Cove Commons, um, Jackie has already said the Cove Commons is overbooked. Like it's already mm. people yeah. have already booked up the space. Wow. That's available and um, through through BIAC and the library, okay. um, and they're trying. They're already having to make policies around. You know, do they let a group have it every Thursday at three mm -hmm. o'clock, or do they have to make that a space potentially available to other groups? Can they like how do they want to manage how that mm -hmm. booking is? So they're already feeling a little bit of a crunch, and they've only been open for a, a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no so. They will absolutely figure it out, but I think it just speaks to the fact that there's such a facility deficit. Yeah, that, yeah um, it, it's got a know, great location. It mm -hmm. does, yeah. absolutely. Except for the parking. Well, if you're driving. Yeah, I don't know where you, where you park. Yeah. parking? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, and we also, like you said, we have a community centers um, steering committee coming up with the design team. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, we'll bring that up on the agenda and just tell them, hey, you know, this is part of the sentiment of the community. And they develop that just in a myriad of different reasons why this should happen. And they can actually come up with some numbers Good. very easily mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know what, this is keeping the cost of the community centered at 15% or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and the operating costs, because mm -hmm. now we're all sharing the operating costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, the efficiencies from staff. But I think people have to see numbers on that. Yes. When's the next like community input or information session about it that people can come to? Yeah, we have a planned one, but we were wondering in if case that should be me. yeah something yeah. like another open house that we can run on a. It'll be in the spring sometime. Spring, okay. <clears throat> I think um, yeah, I think the push is now to get out to the get out to the people and raise some money. We had a little little mm -hmm. Pam Bulls with Jones the other day. She made it quite clear that we got to come up with a. We have to have the money in place oh, yeah. before we can even go to the But that's only a third, right? So it's, we gotta, we got to raise three million bucks. Sell it. Can you sell your house? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> there you go. The Gary Anderson. You can live at the great Gary Anderson. You can live at the community <laughs> center. <laughs> so much fun. Put some residential in there. That'll take care You'll of it. You'll be so fit. You'll have your yeah. gym right there. Right. You'll be very right. cultured. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, that is so fun. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. it's like Tom Hanks. Oh, I didn't post Tom Hanks, yeah. Was yeah. it? Yeah. I think it was, was it Colby or something. Yeah. Alright. So that's where we're at on that. Right? Okay. We, are Simply, all, we are also um, very conscious of it. going to be hiring a fundraising uh, person to help us with fundraising. So mm -hmm. uh, we're looking mm -hmm. at the terms of reference and Job description tomorrow. Jackie oh, and I are doing that tomorrow. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. And we do have um, completed, they've gone out to the steering committee, the 
uh, MOU between yep. BIM and BIAC for the project agreement and for the fundraising, um, joint fundraising. Mm -hmm. So, memorandum of understanding. Okay. Yeah, just so who, which organization is doing what, who's responsible, what their roles are, and okay. who's responsible for what. So, those are kind of pieces of the puzzle that are like housekeeping, but mm -hmm. um, essential. So, those yeah. are um, going to council on March 12th. Yeah, so things are moving forward, absolutely, and raise the money. Need some money? Raise now we money. need some money. Money, money, money. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Go to the developers. Yeah. He's going to give you some cash. That was surprising. Yeah. <laughs> They've never had to pay out anything before. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told them. Yeah. I told the old gang uh, years ago. I think the ball was during the campaign. We had these little meetings and we were talking about developing and see what we and that sort of stuff. And that sounds good to me. I said, but you're not going to get away with it. It's going to cost you, it's going to cost you. A community center. A community center. Yeah. 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 I said, no, I understand that. Mm. But you know, we haven't got it together. So. Mm. Well, new reality. Yeah. 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 It's happening. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that uh, <laughs> having very soon an opportunity for, for, for the community to Engage again. Right. Yeah, really, absolutely. Really important. Okay. Thanks. I have the priority list. Yes. So that was one action item, and then the next one is uh, ask the library about ping, or ask, yes. yeah, ask the library about doing the ping pong. Yep. Yeah, so I talked to Tina at the library today, and um, basically the library and BIAC are not interested oh, um, in mm -hmm. having ping pong in their new. Um, area outside there. Um, reason being, it is single function, the ping pong table, it can't be moved, it's a large piece of cement, takes up too much room, it would really only be used during the summer months. Um, it could be hazardous to people trying to skateboard off of it or <laughs> jump on top of it or something. Um, and they really want their space to remain open, that an open space. They might have benches and planters and stuff around it, but they want to be able to have concerts in that space. Potentially, they just want to be able to use that space. So they don't want a big concrete thing in the middle of it, which makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Fair task. So that was, that was yeah, the action item of that. Uh -huh. do, do you have a, another location in mind that, that could work? Uh, I haven't really thought about it at the moment. Um, I think their reasons are really valid. Yes, yeah, I, um, I agree. We do bring out the portable one in the summer at the rec office, down by the rec office there at the school, and people come by and play ping pong for a while, and then they give us back the paddles and the balls. So there, it is an opportunity that is happening, but um, yeah, I agree it would be nice to have something down in the cove. Yeah, well, I, I think John was really... He's very keen. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's talked to many, yeah. many of us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, has he talked to Metro? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think he has. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. That was down there. Yeah. And he's because of the to permanence to of it. Yeah. yeah, I think. A couple of tons worth of concrete. It's big, yeah. right? It's, it's I wish instead tall. we could have a little cupboard um, somewhere in the, in the building that had uh, a croquet set, bocce ball set. Mm -hmm. uh, in a, which building? In the, in the library. So that out on the lawn, if somebody wanted to play croquet, they could go get the, they're mm -hmm. there, set it up, play, pick it up, put it back in the cupboard, uh, and that would keep the area open, but still offer people an opportunity to do lawn bowling, bocce ball, croquet, anything that's yeah. impermanent. Yeah. And it would create a nice kind of feel up there in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. have a little croquet game going on or as people, you know. Volleyball. I think they'll, come, they'll talk about yeah. storage being a bit of an issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think there is like just about negative 10% storage. Yeah, well, I know, I know they had just recently had to kind of figure out what to do with coats. Oh, wow. Okay. Mini gallery. All right. Never so, mind. <laughs> the mini gallery came, yeah. everybody it came with their coat on. It was a good test, yeah. though. They don't have the coats. The traffic was fine down there. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I have a, sorry, unrelated to the related question. I believe that they were looking after the medicinal um, 
uh, the med shed. Yeah, yeah. Where's med shed. that still That's there? That's still there. The med shed's there. Then book the, uh, the shed that they keep the books in there. It was still there. So it's well, there's not, I mean, yeah. crew K and Bocce wouldn't take up a lot of space. Yeah. So I don't think we could maybe put a ping pong table in there. No, no. I, I think yeah. just, yeah, small stuff. Yeah, like just a little basket small. of bocce yeah. balls, if, a, a, a one croquet set that's, you know, yeah. that big. If, yeah. if you could move the med shed, uh, take that stuff away from the library and have it set up somewhere else, then then you could do that. Yeah. But that med shed is... Chocolate block, yeah. oh, and I, I would be yeah, comfortable asking. Yeah, that med shed gets yeah. it's central. It gets it, it, that it, stuff gets used. Oh, it does yeah, get it's very, really very, used. It's very a great, place. it's a great service. It's yeah, a yeah, it really is. Yeah. It is, and it's like a library, but it's not. Books. Yeah, yeah, so and they're, right, they're actually going to barcode them so that you be able to maybe, check maybe, it out. Maybe the tourist, the tourist little information could have some. Box you know, all you would really and... need is just a, a, a large size Tupperware box yeah, with a few little things. Yeah. So where do we have the where do we have the flat one? Is it back <laughs> in the court chart? Big spiel. It's the big spiel. Well, they oh, said yeah. they're having concerts and stuff. Yeah. A, there must be a flat. Have... I think it's in between. Yeah, the two buildings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. The back. I think it'd be sort of a cool thing to have just a little box for a closet like that. A little closet. That's yeah. weatherproof. Back to ping pong. Has it been even talked about maybe at the new community center? Possibly. Has that even brought up? Uh, um, it well, has been brought Shana up. Shana and I were just talking about it. And so they've got the portable unit, eh? Right. And so that'll be brought out, obviously, yeah. undercover, probably in the summertime, and just see what kind of use that gets. And if that turns out that it gets a whole bunch of use, I'm sure we can find a place to put a ping pong table that would be out of the way. And, yeah. You know, concrete, so th this yeah. one you're talking about is actually a permanent concrete structure. Yes. We don't have to have that though, do we? Couldn't we just have two ping pong tables side by side or something? Yeah, well, I think absolutely. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. 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 That's what. It's... That's normal, yeah. isn't it? That's the normal thing for ping pong. Yeah. No, yeah. That, that's very normal and that's yeah. the way it should be. I mean, unless you're a Ping pong aficionado, and you need yeah. this. But I think also, you know, once people know that it's available. <laughs> part of the skate park. Yeah, it's well, that's dual purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. Well, it's part, it's sort of like art. Like, they can, like, functional art. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 You have to sort of, you'd have to mm. sell it like that. Yeah. It's not an easy sell. But so we can paint yeah. the ping pong table. It doesn't yeah. have to be a big, ugly piece of concrete. It could be you could knurled have, somehow. You definitely <laughs> could have it. The public art. Full of sea glass all around the outside. Once, once we have a, a, some space too around the new community center, we yeah. can do things like they yeah. do in city parks, like a, che a little chess area, yeah. a little yeah. chess yeah. area, yeah, yeah, sure. some checkers, and, you know, yeah. there's all sorts of really cool stuff you can do. I'd like to uh, see some outdoor exercise equipment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But maybe that's, that's for way down the line. Not yeah. that far, no. Yeah. You know. But yeah, you know, so you can, kind of like landscaping. It's just yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these things more because I'm trying to steer the focus from rec to more community mm -hmm. in our yeah. thinking. Yeah. You know, yes, exercise equipment is wonderful, mm -hmm. but what about having a place where people can gather and do a chess tournament? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Know, or or stuff like like croquet, which is you know isn't really a sport, but it's but it's, you know, fun. Oh, but it's fun and you're yeah. outside and it's a community thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's really good fun. Croquet tournaments, you can. Yeah. You can Margaret Grace, are you? They can do <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can do something with that. You can do <laughs> yeah. Very recreational. Like very competitive. You can certainly do that. You can, play, you can, you can, you can, can just play on the field, which is you know, yeah, it's right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 If somebody wanted to grab that, actually, croquet would be a lot of fun to yeah. and, have. Uh, and we do have that. Yeah. The, yeah, the rec has bocce and croquet. We bring it out at Canada Day. Yeah, do people use it? I can today, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um... Because that field will be available to the rec. The grass field? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, as long as there isn't something else planned on it. No. Which there isn't much anyway. Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm going to refocus this. Uh, what about mm -hmm. the recreation plan action? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's... Uh, these were kind of the ongoing... Um, Probably not those actions, right? So these were the ones from the January, the, not yeah. the updated version. No, and the updating version was my little notes that said ongoing. There was a oh, updating. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So we've already talked about the community center. Um, that uh, we're actually having a, a meeting after this one to deal with uh, community lands on lot two, lot two, and some planning and rezoning lot two and lot one. So, and that's where I'm going to make the pitch for land for the community center. Um, but we should try to figure out how much land we really want. To Pick How much land is there in Lot 2? Well, um, it's not any of those boards that we have. Um, yeah, that, actually, those, that one board would be really good. Okay, with the little set. The, yeah. yeah. I know it's In 2037. <laughs> Whose vision board is that? <laughs> That was um, BibTAC, I think, the Transportation Committee. Oh, awesome. yeah, there it is. Awesome. I mean, it's like... Is that a new one? It's a new one. Not great. Not great. Mistake. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we're down here. We've got a fair bit of it that's already been designated for the community center here. That's the dark um, yellow, I don't know. Yeah, the dark yellow, yeah. Mm -hmm. The dark yellow is a building, obviously, and the light yellow is the land. I would like to see us get right to the end of the fence here. Mm -hmm. The field there. This, um, this is pretty steep in here. It might not be too useful for too much. Um, this is also, this piece of property is also designated with, for housing. And uh, BC Housing is looking at that to put a unit in there. But they can be, they can be moved on a little bit further along. That wouldn't be a huge problem. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would like to get to at least to the end of that, um, hmm. the field. That would be my goal, and I think that would be adequate. So you know, there is stuff we can do down around here. There is stuff I mean, we could do a little something down here. I guess uh, this, like I said, is pretty steep. We might be able to get a little bit of parking in there, which is you know shown already. Um, What's the current zoning of it now? Uh, it's it's zoned for a community center and for housing. Right now. Housing. What do you want to change it to? Uh, well, we want to do the whole thing. So what are the? Well, what what well, they own all this. I mean, we own all of this. Right. So just right now, A is zoned for that. Just uh, just A and C and B are zoned. Those are the only ones that are zoned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the competing? So if you're not going to think of that as expansion of uh, community center, uh, what? What else? Just more housing? Would that be? Yeah, uh, housing. Yeah. That would be other yeah. option. Okay. You I know, mean, which of course is is very yeah very current. current. Yeah. yeah. Um, we certainly have a lot of areas. That we had a meeting last night about across the road here, which is um, just up here, which is area area one, and lot one. Lot one. Yeah. Yeah, and across um, from the school. Which we're going to put, you know, and that's a discussion we're going to have at this next meeting. But that was going to be primarily um, work, live, uh, light industrial. And it's, um, uh, the Advisory Planning Commission was very, very, and they, they, they've changed. And they said the community needs housing. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't need light industrial right now. Yeah, it would be nice, you know. Uh, that was my argument. Where else are you going to put it? Mm. Anyway, we're sort of I'm sort of getting off topic here. But long story short, I think that's going to go into residential. That was certainly the wish of the APC. Wow. Mm. Okay. As opposed to like industrial mm. sort of artist workshop type stuff. Yeah, and that and that sort of thing. Yeah. So one of the things on this agenda was the new business, and it's about um, this group putting a recommendation to council around securing future expansion of island needs so maybe we can come back to this part of it if we could go on to the next action items and then yeah. come back to this when we can figure out if we want to make a no. recommendation yeah. um, yeah. and specific to um, uh, i pulled out some of the priorities specific for expansion from the rec plan so we can back it up yeah um, perfect so. but maybe we can come back to that that would be nice to have some official yeah. resolution going forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do we need to go through each action item? Um, 
because some of them are sort of more. Yeah, maybe we want to just if so, anyone has an update on anything that they've been working on. I don't think we need to go through them every time because okay. they do. James working on something. Tell us the for that. The bubble. Is he talking about the bubble right now? He came and met with me yeah. um, about Tunstall Bay. So, no, not really about the tennis courts. He said there were bubbles about 400k. Yeah, for the pool. Yeah. Was it that pool was the pool. pool. I think he was talking about the bubble for the tennis courts. They rented it for weddings and stuff too. He didn't uh, he talk to me about okay. that. No, he was hmm. talking about the bubble yeah. over the pool. So who is this? The Tunstall Bay, Tunstall Bay Club Association. Club? And, and they're trying to get bubbles Bay for Beach golf. Beach Club. Beach Club. Sorry, Beach Club. Beach Club. Beach Club. But those tennis <laughs> courts need to be totally yeah. Yeah. They are yeah. falling yeah. down yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah they need and to they, be totally rebuilt. And it's going to cost a fortune to. Uh, and Ross McDonald's talked about helping rebuild one, but the other one's on on the way down the hill. Yeah. He has a, a team from BCIT coming up to do a whole. Assessment? Yeah. assessment yeah. It's a part of the course that BCIT is doing. So they're going to do it based on Tunstall Bay. They put this huge thing oh, forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that's it's part that's of their architecture kind of program. Very so it might be really yeah. cool to see what comes out of that. There's a lot of recreation yeah. could come out of that, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. And yeah. That's, you know, it's a collaboration Except, with the yeah. municipality, and that could work extremely well. If they're yeah. willing to relinquish and let that happen. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's the only way it's going to happen. Yeah, to well, the tennis courts. For sure, <clears throat> for sure. Like, uh, yeah. that would be made. Nobody in the, the Tunstall wants to fix them up. No, so, no, can they afford to? Yeah, no, so I just said they should have a nice little dining room down there and a bar and stuff. And what a nice place that would be to go to yeah. the summer yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Curly yeah. ring, go for a swim. Curly ring. Yeah. 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 Machine. <laughs> Even we, we, could, yeah. we, could, we could dream on forever. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, how about uh, do we? Is, are there any action items that need to be addressed? This, this well, thing? yeah, I, the, the, this whole one about the tennis courts potentially being up in this new community center area. Uh, I don't know, Gary, if when you're asking for land, if, if the tennis courts, potential tennis courts, would even come up for discussion. Um, I think it's important to get some courts somewhere on this island that are, because mm -hmm. BICs can, I mean, half the time people can't use it yeah. anyway. Yeah, during school hours. Yeah, it's, and then, yeah. then it's not lit and it's, and it's only one. Yeah. And so it, 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 it means that there is a huge restriction on. Mm -hmm. And that was what came play. into the, from the rec plan as well. It yeah. was tennis courts, skate park, sport court, ping pong table, yeah. climbing wall. So yeah, those were the things yeah. that came out of, top, that, top items. out of for expansion in terms of yeah. the yeah. land and the pool, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I will try to get our, we had a website that just sort of petered out, but to get numbers of people who yeah, I think, yeah, you want know, I to th play tennis. That's important. That's I, I think I will be so group. I know that. I would like, as a commission, if we could send a united message to members of the community who have a specific interest, like tennis or disc golf, or you know, and some groups have been wonderful, like the skate park, mm -hmm. skate park or the uh, bike park people, that they rally themselves, that you know, that they have our support, our encouragement, our guidance, but. We're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I think we need to send in terms yeah. of our communication to commu you know, to various groups and say, we really want this. Well, that's great. Here's what you need to do, and here's how we can support you, mm -hmm. and and make it make it clear that we're not here to sort of do everybody's work for them, because yeah. we simply can't. Yeah, it's just not practical. And or pay for everything. Yeah, <laughs> like where's the money going to come yeah. from? You know, yeah. if you're really passionate about something, you're going to have to rally as a group. You're going to have to find some money somewhere because it's your interest mm -hmm. and you know we can guide you along the way and support you but I think we need to um, as a, as a group just make yeah, yeah. collaborate yeah. support but make sure that the that the message that goes out to the community is if you have a, an interest that you're really passionate about that you're going to have to find the group and the energy and the money and then give them examples of people in the community who've already done this yeah. and, and been very successful at it. Mm -hmm. And say, you know, ask them how they did it. You know, see if they can give you some guidance. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, and that's the way it has to happen. Yeah. And, you know, if you want some kind of collaboration with the municipal 
municipality, then you're going to have to come to council and say, and pitch your, pitch your deal, yeah. you know? Because yeah. it, it, there's so much talk, <clears throat> excuse me, out in the community about all this stuff, but nobody actually comes to council. And unless you come to council and initiate it, mm -hmm. it almost doesn't happen. And I, I must say that most of the people that have come to council and initiated stuff, I think we're batting, batting we're 100. We're doing all right. Yeah. Thousand or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody's, we've helped everybody out. As long as there's a, some will to do it. Right. Yeah, yeah see, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So on that note, how, how, where are we on the disc golf? Uh, yeah, I have a disc golf. I'm actually just wondering, what, what do you guys want to do with these recommendations? Like, I don't know if we need to go through them every oh, month, but what's, what's valuable out of these? I mean, we've kind of got... Um, specific actions that have been coming or people have got their names <coughs> on or um, I'm just wondering how you want to handle talking about them or working through them or moving them forward or well I would I would think the practical thing would be is you know if <coughs> if and when people have actually done some work on some work on, on, on something that they Thanks. have signed up for that they would you would offer time in this meeting to report on it. Okay. But to go through every one every time to me doesn't seem like a good use. No. So maybe so if there's going to be an info I'd like standing in for it in that. Like the person who has always had to work on the agenda. I think we can have it in the agenda. Or the maybe agenda. we don't need to. Yeah. People, and then we can just have a time like we did today if people have an update. Yeah. 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 Like the, the agenda, agenda I think could be. Yeah, update on action items. Yes. Yeah. And then if there's something to update, great. If not, then we'll move on. Yeah, I think it's I think it's important to keep it alive and keep it yes. visible mm -hmm. because yeah. otherwise it just it'll get yeah. 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 Do I have an action for you, Pam, about finding numbers of people about tennis courts or is that conversation? Um, I know Catherine and I had that discussion and she said she would help try okay. to and I, I'm not sure, like, it's obviously people aren't even thinking of tennis right now. Yeah. So, um, but it, it needs to be done. So I don't know if it's just... I'll jot it down and it doesn't happen this month. So yeah. We'll right over. And, and try to compile a list of interested people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're well connected to the tennis crew, though, and then they would have now their network as well, who they knew would mm -hmm. be interested in, I think. So I guess we just start with a list of names and phone numbers and emails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And start it now. Yeah. Yeah. Build. Yeah. Um, we are having, Goran is coming over, I think it's around the May long weekend, but he's going to put he's together, a tennis yeah, yeah, he's putting together a right. little, um, a little, uh, Tennis tournament called Bo, Win Bo Wimbledon. Bo Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So keep an eye out for that. I okay. think it's in May. Yeah. Okay, and he is quite affiliated with just the BIX program, I guess. He's done the BIX program, so they um, often have like a PE enrichment program, and he's done that, and he's been coaching um, for Community Rec for the last 10 years. On the BIX court. On the BIX court. Yeah, so yeah, he's well known around there for sure. And he would he would love to see awesome. something like that. Awesome. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think I'm bring a ringer. Got a ringer for the player. Right. Yeah. Good. That's how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I played tennis in ten years. <laughs> okay, well let's let's keep moving. We're we're Good. running late. Um, are we okay to move ahead to this golf agenda item? So, yeah. Yep. So, Craig? Sorry, Craig. What's your name on that? <laughs> 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 you know, we, did, we did a wonderful walk around those on the course. It was, uh, it, it really came alive actually doing that little talk, uh, walk yeah. around Veteran Field there. I, I, I came out of it pretty pumped. Yeah. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, it was good. I, I, I learned a lot. I, I mean, it, it just a number of various discs that you use. I, I had no idea there was that many and uh, it was a lot of fun. He seemed pretty positive. There's good backing from those guys that came from the uh, 
uh, Canada, who I have. Didn't Team know Canada. Team Canada. <laughs> Frisbee golf, I didn't know that either. So that was a, that was kind of encouraging. And um, yeah, so they seem to be good. So Sam, I, I think he's moving forward. I, I, I'm not sure, um, has he put names? Is there a, a sign up list or people that might be interested? Because what they did talk about, and I think it's necessary, is to have a core group that would be a club, a disc yeah. club, and as he said, just for various things, just making sure there's no oh, yeah. beer cans yeah. uh, on, on, the, on the site, and uh, I think that's good, but I guess that would be the next thing to really um, do in that sense, is to get a list of people that might be interested in, in uh, doing that on a regular basis. So. Yeah. Well, and I think he's got a group of people we, the together. The Disc Golf Association of Bowen Island, he only has a whole oh, a member. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. A member, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I started that three years ago, four yeah. years ago. <laughs> and there's like 60 people on it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. See, I wouldn't mind putting my name on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. that should be made available somehow. And I'll get the yeah. to forward that to me and I'll forward to you guys. You can all join. All yeah. right. New members. Yeah. I, I was impressed with how easy it would be to put it in there. Yeah. So, so the lay of the land is just it's just a gift. Yeah. 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 I didn't never really thought of it. So it just looks like it's just wild land, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, but that's actually good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is perfect. And what a what what a nice compliment to Veterans Field there. I mean, uh, you know, that's an it's a long ways from you know sort of downtown Bowen, but nevertheless, it's uh, it's nice yeah. to have that area, and it would be nice to be able to program that space in future. So yeah. the more stuff that gets, the more people know about it, yeah. the more likely uh, that uh, we'll be able to get to know, it it gets people out of the cove, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's <laughs> I can't leave here. I can't leave here. That yeah. also speaks to the idea of you know getting people using the underused parts around the yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's huge. Um, Excellent. Recreation okay. is very excited about the fact that he said you could have um, glow in the dark disc mm -hmm. golf. Oh, yeah. uh, how much fun would that be? You run a little rec program for youth, glow in the dark. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so we have since walked about there again with Alan Whitehead, who is the does the environmental assessments. Mm. Oh good. Um, so he was. Uh, we've kind of gone through BIM property lines and BIM setbacks and right of ways and that kind of thing. So. Um, Sam, the next step is for him to flag out the holes and the tee boxes wow. um, and, and develop the course, which I believe he is going to bring. He's coming to meet with Bonnie and I on April 10th, and he will have his course planned out wow. yeah, at that point. And then we'll be coming to council to do a collaborative project service agreement once he's got the course flagged out and, um, awesome. with Alan's. Wow, well, that's very progressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, so he's yeah. working, working uh, hard any, on that. Um, from Alan, was there any, any problems with the creek and that sort of thing? Um, there's enough land there, yeah. we can be far make enough away work. from the creek that we can make that work. And yeah, he's, um, Alan's going to rewalk the course once Sam has it flagged with Sam, um, and then he'll write his environmental report um, after that. That's be awesome. And then Sam will come to council. Yeah, so that's kind of we're going to see. He's hoping to have it for April 10th. His flagged out course. So it is moving forward. That's, that's quick. Yes. Yeah. Happening. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. That's that's good. Yes. Okay, now how are we on the bike park access feasibility? So the bike park, um, the bike park itself is about, we're still hoping for the spring break build, but they are $6,000 short. Mm -hmm. And the builder doesn't want to start building until he's got a guarantee that all of the money is available yeah. to do that. So they're, um, they have some grant applications into the Community Foundation. Unfortunately, they're not going to start looking at those until May, but Jen Henriksen is kind of leading the bike park group and she's um, she's pulling in some she's trying to find six thousand dollars. Okay. I don't think and that. even if it needs means that somebody fronts her the money and then yeah. she pays them back or something. Yeah. So she's working on that. Um, because spring break is ideal. It's ideal for the school because we can put the um, material and the dirt and all of that there, access through the school parking lot. It's not gonna interfere with school being in it would just be a really nice time to do that. Um, so hopefully, it's kind of a little bit on hold 
No, but they have raised, what, is 28? They've raised 20. That's 20. Right. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I don't think it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. And that's with grants and, yeah. and donations. And maybe, maybe, actually 23, sorry, 23,000 in grants and donations. So 20 and was the total or something. Mm -hmm. And part of that Vancouver Coastal Health Grant that went to 11, it was $15,000 altogether, the active communities, 11,000 of it went directly to the bike park build and the other four, part of that four was for some fundamental movement skills training for youth mentors who would then be at the bike park when it's open to teach younger kids how to do that. So that training is happening this Sunday and so far I've got five grade nine Oh, boys good. who are yeah. going to take the training and then we've got money for them to have honorariums as a bit of a job to be there so I think what we'll do is have them do some shifts at like a, a grand opening yeah. and then Saturday morning and Sunday morning and Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon they'll do some shifts we can pay them to be there just to show people how to use it um, teach younger kids a bit of balance and just kind of how to take care of it, not dig in it, maybe a little bit of stewardship there. Um, so, yeah, that's no that is allowed. That is happening. Yeah. Um, so, that'll give the youth a component of it and a bit of ownership, I think. Also. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, now, the, the access, the thing that is actually on this agenda, the mm -hmm. feasibility, we, Bonnie, um, the manager of parks, and myself, met with Alan Whitehead and um, representatives from Metro Vancouver Parks. And because we're trying to get some access from Mount Gardner Road along the Snake Field at Bix there, back behind the Outdoor Learning Center and into that current trail that leads down um, into the bike park, it looks like um, when we kind of look at everything there is a creek there and what Metro Vancouver is suggesting is that we would build a bridge yeah. over the whole creek and then have a trail rise up to meet the bridge mm -hmm. along the snake field there. Um, Metro Vancouver has a lot of um, uh, requirements of what their trails are going to look like and their bridges and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So they, she initially said two to three meters, which I thought was horrifically large, yeah. um, because we don't really need it to be that big. We want it to be large enough for a set of handlebars and large enough for a wheelchair to be able to access. Four feet. We don't need it to be two to three meters. So we're kind of working with them a little bit. Um, I know Bonnie was going to talk to them about cost sharing, but we kind of estimated it's about a $20,000. So, well, the bridge and then the trail oh, yeah, okay. side as uh, well. Sure. So okay. the tra and there is it would need to be brought up. The land would have to be there. So we did estimate about twenty grand, and I know we're putting that in the budget as a capital project potentially. We don't grand. know if Metro Van will um, do cost the, sharing. Coming over the recommend budget. No. <laughs> it most oh, certainly is oh, not. <laughs> surprise. Um, so I don't think we're going to have that access before the bike park is built. No, that's which is fine. Yeah. yeah. But we will have signage. They've, Metro Van has, um, has committed to putting signage from the Miller Road access into that trail to change oh, yeah, the okay. trail down yeah. along the creek to be bike access as well. Right now I think it just says pedestrian. So they're going to have a bike corridor there to be able to access it from that side. Good. So that's that update. Yeah. And I understand that you are no longer going to have to read your uh, youth services report. No, I think, I think we can all just read those. Yeah. So if anyone ever has any questions, I'm happy to speak to um, anything that isn't clear or anything that you have questions with. but. Um, I guess the big thing we had they had a random act of kindness dance for grade five, six, and sevens, and 95 kids came. Wow, wow, 95 kids signed up, and I think 92 came. So, um, it was a big, yeah. <laughs> it was a big hit. Yeah, nice. yeah, 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 grade five, six, and seven. And pictures look good in the undercard there. Yeah, yeah, so okay, that was fun. really fun. No uh, parents, they had uh, volunteers. No parents, yeah. no parent zone. Yeah. <laughs> um, but
But yeah, if anyone ever has any questions about what, it's kind of just an update for you to know what's happening in youth services and what's happening with the recreation programming. So I guess if you're okay with that, I don't think I need to read it all out. But yeah, if you just want to, if you have any questions ever, just let me know. Okay. Can speak to it. So that brings us back to our uh, earlier discussion about um, the securing municipal land for future expansion. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so something of kind of official recommendation from this committee would be good to go to council. Okay. Just to um, so council knows that we've talked about it and the specific things that come out of the rec plan um, for, for expansion would be great to have right around the community center. And those things were the side-by-side -side tennis courts, skate park, bike park, but we've already got that going, um, sport court, ping pong table, climbing wall, and the pool if we want to put the pool on there. I think we need to just let the pool be a dream. Let it just be. Let it just be. Let it be. I really think that's a possibility in the community. Yeah. I'll say it every meeting. I'm bringing up every meeting. One day, someone will be like, hey. Yeah. Let's have a girl. Let's right. have a girl. Right. So, does somebody have to make a motion to recommend to. Did you have a motion? I don't have one written up, but maybe we could just split <coughs> with one quickly. Or it was a recommendation based on the community rec plan. Um, so, whereas the community recreation plan identifies. Oh, yes. Just like that. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> just, just float out. Like a little, um, on a, you, that we could say when we give our list of things that, that we think, you know, the tennis courts and so on, that could we call them things such as tennis courts? It, you know, so that we're not saying these are the specific things we're asking for, but these are things that are of interest to us. Can you say amenities such as? So, amenities such as, perfect. <coughs> uh, we had tennis court, skate park, sport court, climbing wall. Do we want to put ping pong table, or that doesn't really need to be? Yeah, it? Really no, needs. it doesn't need to be an actual. We can just bring out the portal. Well, it, it was yeah. in the it top floor. Doesn't require a lot of land. No. Yeah. It was on the top how you, floor. How, how would you? Uh, what words would you use to say we'd like a little bit of flat lawn yep. for things like, you know, croquet or or you know to put a ping pong table on or, uh, you know. So, um, summer activities, I guess. Right. Long uh, rolling grass. Chess, yeah. a chess tournament. Yeah. You know, how would you describe just just to have a designated little like an outdoor gathering? Space. Outdoor gathering space. Yeah. Is that Flat like, outdoor gathering space. Drum circle. Yeah, drum oh, circle. Yeah, yeah, drum yeah, circle. Yeah. 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 We don't want to put that in. Yeah. People yeah. go with housing. <laughs> <laughs> I you don't want to put it but I, I think I mean, cause it's, you're just recommending allocating space. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you sure you want to leave pool out? Because it's not like you're attaching it to the community center. You're not attaching, and it's in the yeah. recommendation. Well, I'm also wondering if we should have if like, so so many people are talking about um, the gymnasium, like having another gym space. Well, if these aren't things. These. But that's a sports court. I think you cover that in sports court. No, but it's not covered necessarily. Doesn't like, covered. Okay. Sports yeah. court. Let's put a bubble. But I just, I just think if, if we are going to put the recommendations that were in that recreation plan, should the pool should be in there. It's in there. They right are in there. there. Yeah, the pool is. It in should the be in there too. For expansion of the recreation. No, not facilities. Not facilities. This is just just a a land. Space. This is what we want for lot. Could you set the land aside? Like maybe. This is right kind maybe. of what our dream is for lot two. I think is that what we're well yeah it's more than it's I think it's more than two isn't it yeah. wish list I mean we, we yeah. need it to go forward with the community do you want to put in something yeah. that maybe yeah. contributes to a neighborhood uh, um, yeah. housing housing yeah <laughs> like, uh, a yeah. part of a, a necessary part of uh, of local housing um, because th there will be pressure there but you can't have housing without facilities because you're going to want, you're going to want kids. 
In this plaza, this yeah, particular in this particular yeah. one is the rec plan. So basically rec plan. what came out of the rec plan. That's all I was that's saying. That's, 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 that's the only reason yeah. I came up with the thing. We should probably add that in there. Yeah. So what has we got so far? Nothing. <laughs> 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 <It's> whatever was <laughs> in the rec plan. recreation plan identifies amenities such as tennis courts, skate park, sport courts, climbing wall, pool, and outdoor gathering center. Therefore, we resolve that the commission recommend the council reserve a portion of lot to for potential future construction of such amenity. Construction. I didn't know we were talking directly just about lot two. I thought we were talking. Oh, okay. I, thought we were, I thought we were like this is for community land setting aside yeah. community yeah. lands yeah. in general. I wouldn't. I wouldn't okay. specify lot two. I think just community lands. Yeah. Just community Commu lands. Yeah. In okay. It could be anywhere on Bowen. Couldn't it? But well, yeah. But closer. Ideally, ideally, it's all ideal. one place. Yeah. I'd say if you specify lot together. two. I mean, look at all this stuff. Well, I, I, I think we, I think we, well, no, I guess we can't really specify that too. Ideally, I want to. Or, or, and I, and, and, I, and, I, kind of and I think we should put something in there in light of um, the rezoning, uh, the potential rezoning of lot two sure. okay, and lot one. Um, lot one and two. And whereas. Yeah, where is hmm. Whereas lots one and two, yeah, two are currently undergoing rezoning process. Or potentially, potentially, I think yeah, but because we're not um, doing it, are potentially going to be rezoned. Potentially being rezoned. Are being considered for rezoning. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so many words. So little time. <laughs> so rezoning. Resolved. The commission recommend the council reserve a portion of the community lands. Community lands, yeah. For, for future expansion. For future expansion of community facilities. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Such as. Yeah. Facilities. We already have facilities. Such as. Yeah. Yeah. Such as. Yeah. Such yeah. as. Yeah. Uh, what does that community facilities? facilities? I don't know if that's... Expansion feels like... Heating center expand. Yeah, yeah. yeah it does. Or expansion, expansion is maybe not the right word. Um, development. Accommodation. Yes. Development. Development. Or, or is that a bad word? Yeah. <laughs> Development's a bad word? Yeah. Some, oh, some of the trees. some orders. people. <laughs> God. Uh, um, could you, could you read what we have in the new mm -hmm. Whereas the rec plan identifies amenities such as the list, whereas lots one and two are potentially being considered for rezoning. Therefore, if you resolve, the rec commission recommend that council reserve a portion of the community lands for potential future community facilities. Oh, but okay. just community facilities. Okay. okay. But it's not facilities, it's more. Like it's not really or a structure, it's true. more facilities might not be right. Um, amenities again? Amenities. Yes, do amenities. And then we'll be here to explain it later. So. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, it's just, well, actually, I think it's important that it, just the intent goes in there. Yeah. So, and we Gary will yeah. say, this is money. what they really mean to say. They want a pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what they really mean. Pool and a football stadium. Oh, and an ice hockey rink. Improvements. Yeah. When um, that community center went up on Facebook, this is a couple days ago. Oh, yeah. See how many pool comments shot out of that? Oh, Sophie Probably. mentioned it. Oh, it was I crazy. Because it went up, like, here's the community center, what do people think? People looking at it on Facebook, it was like, pool, 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 a second of pool. It was like. So, to, is there like, a I know, but I'm like, did you even, like, look and read? What do you, like? You know, the idea of what, 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 how complicated a pool is. No. How expensive and complicated. So it's just a small, anyway, like, ocean, so ocean, so ocean, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's finish that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, think think right. Right. I have a question about pool. I thought we were so done that. So can I just throw out? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh. So somebody needs to... Do you want to wordsmith that, or are you happy with the way it is? 
Um, it I'm seems okay a little, with it. Seems a little bit dirty, but my desk usually. I mean, it's yeah. a pretty simple idea. We're just recommending that some land gets set yeah. aside. Yeah, for future for, for future use, use. For, to use. do use. stuff to yes. do stuff in. And yeah. they were so, identified in the community rec plan. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's key. So that's somebody key. needs to make a motion that we recommend make this recommendation. Yes. Who would like to? Okay. I'll move that. I'll second it. Recommendation. Okay. Gary moves. No seconds. Further discussion? No. All in favor? <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do I get to vote? Yes. Yes, yes of course. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you only have one vote. I do. Can't Aww. use both hands. Can't use both hands. <laughs> it's it's definitely going to get the vote. We don't get the vote. Thank you. That's a good recommendation. That is a good recommendation. Solid. Excellent. That's quite So that's uh, 8.1. Uh, do we have any, we have information items? And 9.1 is going out of community foundation that our conversation is going to report. So that was um, council asked that all the committees receive this information. Eight second here. Oh, I'm up for like one too. I just was wondering what what people's opinions are. Do we need to have an open house directly related to the pool? The pool, like the swimming pool, like the reason we don't have one. I think, one. I think it's a right thing. Or do you think about just, just, yeah. a, just a quick question on is this thing? What is the possibility of making Manion Bay a swimming beach? It is a swimming beach. It is a swimming beach. Okay, would swimming you swim in it? Well, there are barks is working on cleaning. Yeah, well, this is what I mean. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, that's a realistic swimming. thing. If you could make it an attractive swimming area for kids and families to go to, that's that's a perhaps a, a better way to look at it. I mean, the pool, you know, it's, it's just a waste of everybody's time. Not, you know, oh, and I, I think it's time. There's multiple beautiful swimming beaches. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You live on yeah. an island. Yeah, you and, and that's all we like. Yeah, yeah. like uh, that's that's what I would think. If we were going to sort of go that way, that might be a better area to sort of yeah. push. To well, to, I mean, a pool is uh, you know you get to use it year round. It's warm, you know, <laughs> but you know I I think somewhere in the community center on the community center website, uh, we could have a cool designated little section that says no, you know a pool would be lovely separate Here's, from the faqs yeah, yeah. Uh, that that would lead people to uh, a little just a little information about what a pool is all about how much it costs to, it's, already, it's not just about how much it costs to build it's right. about operations it's, it's about insurance it's about you know it just needs bigger font and a picture or okay. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so that where is it in the bright red yeah. 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 close to the top it's just so that, in the oh, yeah. you know, people people most people probably think that the primary cost is in building it which is not which true. is not the case uh, so i think mean, just to let uh Give people the basic information about uh, what's involved, not just in building, but in maintaining and running a swimming pool. And that, you know, in a community this size, we simply don't have the resources. Which Can you exactly put a price tag on that? Is that? It's 13 no? mil. A no, I mean, for like, per taxpayer. Well, the but there again, you, you, the what, how big is the pool going to be? Talking about like a, a little tiny Talking pool. Talking about a six lane. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it's not a pool that the kids are going to, I mean, now in the city of Vancouver, right, they're, they're getting away from the neighborhood pools. They're going to destination pools. These yeah. things are gargantuous. I don't know yeah. if you've seen them at a UBC, but it's like, yeah. holy moly, that's what, that's what the people want. In spite of what they say, oh yeah, I'd be happy with the six lane thing, get up in the morning, so they're really not going to be happy with that. Yeah, that brings up an interesting question. All these people that want a pool, why do they? Want yeah, them? I think I think a big factor is they're all driving in, they're driving into West Van to get their kids in swimming lessons. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, mm -hmm. and that's one reason they don't want to have to take the ferry on weekends. <laughs> hard to play. I think for, I think for seniors, I think pool is mm -hmm. extremely important. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, mm. uh, and it depends on what facilities you have, but what do you really need? 
Well, and I mean, could you have a pool that was, I don't know, not six lanes, but three lanes, which is what one of them did. It. Same cost. I mean, yeah. yeah, the probably. operating cost is the same. same. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's true. And that's you need the all thing, the washrooms and the showers yeah. and the yeah. answer your call. Not to mention the, the insurance and having yeah. qualified people. And the lifeguards. Life yeah. I mean, the, it's yeah. a really complicated, oh, yeah. expensive. Yeah. And you can't just have one lifeguard. You have to have three or four who rotate. Exactly. Or, like it, it's, yeah, yeah, the operating cost I don't think changes. No, it on will, it, they, on, that's why they go through these huge things. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They build, the, the, the they cost is so much there. more cost effective. So you yeah. need to make like a YouTube infomercial. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could <laughs> look at, lay it out. I mean, if you are thinking, if they're looking at putting a, 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 a something over top of Tunstall, I mean, the pool itself has to be fixed. I mean, there's, there, those 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 costs alone to, to do that are are big. Mean, yeah. yeah, but you could say, you know, the the possibility is here, and see if you can generate people that are willing to raise money for it. But I, mean, I, I you know, you know I, I, it's I, maybe it's because maybe I'm grumpy today, but I just feel oh. like this community center is sparking everybody's imagination, which is wonderful. Yeah. And everybody has all these ideas, and I think, you know, a little bit of tough love is warranted here to the community. Like, yeah, we're a small community, we have limited resources, yeah. we have to be thoughtful about what we do, and we can't spend a lot of time and energy fielding everybody's, let's have an Olympic-sized pool, and a <laughs> this and a that, and a, you know, the fact that we've got a community center going is great, but, you know, somehow we have to find a way to uh, appreciate the enthusiasm and the excitement people have, but also be just pretty straightforward about here's what's realistic, realistic for a community realistic. our size and the resources available, and here's what isn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and so things like a web page that says a pool just is simply not a realistic thing for what we have. Uh, I, at this point I have in time. a question regarding this whole pool thing. If Tunstall Bay were to put the bubble on and, and control it on a private basis, would there be any difference in the liability and, and what was necessary for a pool to operate other than, because the rec, rec standard, I understand that you know there are certain liabilities and, and so forth, but if it were just a private Tunstall Bay pool and then people rented space at it, would it be treated differently? Well, that's kind of what we I'll do now for the, yeah. for the swimming lessons at yeah. Aquafit. We rent the space. Yeah. Vicar Bim red, red, ugh, rents the space from Tunstall Bay um, with a qualified instructor in the pool mm -hmm. who's a lifeguard as well. Um, and that works. And that works. If they were to put a bubble over it and be quite clear that they're not going to put a bubble over. They're not going to put a bubble over. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, you know, yes, community, the community would probably rent more space of mm -hmm. it if they would allow that. But we would still have to, you know, if we were going to have a public swim, we would still have to have X amount of lifeguards. And yeah, like it would but, but on a private basis, it would be considered different. Because it's not big enough. Well, you can't have a public swim if it's. No. Oh. no, it's smaller than well, this room. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Even for the swimming lessons, the kids who do are in the older levels, yeah. it's not long enough for them no. to do what they need to do to pass. So yeah. instead of doing eight lengths, they have to do 24 mm -hmm. to get their oh, amount of space in there. And get so busy. You could yeah. get. Um, so, you know, it's it's limited in what mm -hmm. we can do there, for sure. But, you know, having said that, if you had an angel, an angel investor come in, who mm -hmm. wanted to drop $10 million to build a pool and put his name on it, or his or her name on it, yeah. I think that'd be fantastic. Yeah. And also leave some money for the operating costs for the next millennium. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's great, but we have to have the land. That's what I'm saying, you have to have the land. If you don't have the land, mm -hmm. then it's not going to happen. Well, probably I don't know that's it. <laughs> that you won't be able to build it here. You have to build it somewhere else. Well, maybe I don't know. You know it's it's a ways away. Yeah, <laughs> it'll happen. It just yeah. it might not be a prolonged. 
that yeah, I think I think you're right. I think he, we should put something on there that reasons why we can't have a pool. I think we have to be upfront. Oh, I think we. But not just say never, but just say yeah, at, at, this just, point, at this point, ten reasons why we can't have a pool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just think like open house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 you could actually have fun to do it that yeah, way. Like, make it, make it, it, it might be, yeah. 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 Be, the people that would come to an information session come there to try and to change, change your mind us. and tell you why you're wrong. Not mm. to take the information as truth as it is. That's yeah. true. And and what are the numbers like? I mean, you talked about people, somebody mentioned this. You know, like you, like you said, um, how many people are actually involved with this program that the yeah. that the community hall should be attached to? Yeah. I mean, uh, is two hands worth or four hands worth? Mm -hmm. And if it is, you know, do we really sort of have to? But you know, we can be put in the FAQs, and we can only answer to a certain extent. But there, there is definitely a reason why it's in there. Why do people say that? I don't know. Why it's don't they want? Well, that's right. Just I know. Cool. I don't no, know. Not cool. Not cool. Well, why it's don't? Why? Hall. What do people have against having the municipal offices in the community center? Well, I. Okay. There's. I think there's various reasons. I think yeah. one of them is that they think it's a government mm -hmm. thing and it should be self-supported and paid for by the government. Oh no! Wait, but the government doesn't have any money. <laughs> 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 yeah, the government takes. The other one is I think I think there's a, a perception out there that if the if the municipal offices are taken out of there, then we can add some more recreation facilities mm -hmm. in there right. for the same yeah. cost. Right. And so that has to be sort of. But then the meeting has to be somewhere. Yeah, it does have to be somewhere. We can keep renting here, or maybe I don't know what the situation is. We might another use one this space. There. And another one I've heard is that. It's it's gov it's a government space. There'll be government space that that'll keep growing mm -hmm. and more yeah, and taking yeah, more. Yeah, that would be the big one. I would think. Yeah. yeah, space government grows. And, and but going back to the pool, one of the interesting things, of course, the <laughs> demographic. Well, same thing. Because the demographic of the people that are moving to the island. Okay, the numbers are rather rather amazing. Actually, I was yeah. sort of quite shocked by it. But the people that are going to be coming, a they're going to have kids, and b they're going to be retired. Both of those. Demographics want a pool. Yeah. So it's important to be upfront. And because the last thing you want is, you know, the, the say, real estate people going, man, they're talking about having a pool. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and there's a self, yeah. I, like you say, I think there's a self sufficiency also that the people are coming over here, they aren't going into town that much. They're not full time commuters. And they want more facilities on the island so they don't have to. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's no yeah. question. Yeah, I, and, I, and I think that's that's coming. That's a new demographic, and that that is what we should be answering to. Yeah. So maybe they think that there's not enough in the community center to mm -hmm. justify spending that kind of money. Right. Well, yes, and that if the muni is going in there, they're taking away from what would have been recreation space, which is. But I mean, well, not that's, necessarily that's because, yeah. 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 but that's what right. they, that's. Well, that's, what but that's, those are the sort of questions we have to answer. Yeah, yeah. and they, they don't really want a bunch of meter maids taking up recreation space. Right. They don't like the meter maids. Right. <laughs> what are the meter maids? The ones who give you parking tickets for parking your car where it shouldn't be. Oh, oh. we have those? Yeah, we do. They're lovely. They're lovely. Is there something about putting actual dollar values saying a pool would cost so, I think everybody's taxes that, no, per person? Oh, per person. Like just say, the, like the friend, like okay, that's 300 bucks a year. 300 bucks a year. Yeah. Two or 300 bucks a year. Probably would. Okay, so you're very, right? very, very, very simply. But even in writing, like is there something? Very simply. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything. And they're very simple because uh, Say 10 million. Uh, for $3 million, yeah. which yeah. is a fire hall, it's $68. Yeah. Uh, average. So an average size lot, I don't know what that means on Bowen Island. Um, but I think it's probably 60 by 120 or something, like a quarter acre lot. I would say it's probably, that's going to be $68 for $3 million. So if you go $13 million, then you're going to be talking four times that, which is, you know, $250, $260. And then there's the operating. That's just to build it. That's just to build it. That's that's just to build it. And the operating costs a million dollars a year. Yeah. Um, which is another which is another twenty twenty three dollars. So that's on top of the community center, but that's community center with the pool. It's a that's just the pool. That's so just then the what, pool. The, the, yeah. So I don't know. I I don't know. 
And there's then, numbers you know, there are there some... saying this is what the reason I'm going to do. This is the kind of referendum you're going to be voting on. And this is what the cool cost, cost is. But, there, but there's, so, I've also heard out there where there's people who are going, $200 a year? Who cares? Do it. Yeah, that's three yeah. trips to town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is mm -hmm. that aspect. But that's not all people. I, that's I, it. I, not everybody. I, I worry I, too. I, I understand that. It's a small, small parcel. Yeah. I also worry that the pool they're going to get isn't the pool that they're going to want. Right. So, I agree. I agree. That's, but that's a totally different issue, and I think we should just cross that bridge and come to it. But I think we have to have land. Tell me, going to build an outdoor water park for the summer for the kids? Yeah. Instead. That would be good. Yeah, that down. would be good. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Clean right. up Matthew Bay, exactly. make it. Yeah. Right. But instead, right now, we're going to start an outdoor water park for the kids in the summer. It may, it may Shift their minds that way. Yeah, Sandy, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that is an open so fire. Why don't we just open up Gotham? Can we make a mission yeah. that who, who would be in charge of, who would take on the task of writing a little information? Uh, Little sec, little section of information to go on the web page about the pool, just about the communications. Um, we have a communications subcommittee okay. for the community center, so that's already on our our work plan. that's already there. Shout out to that can be an action item. For okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, emphasize the whole page needed. Whole page needed on the pool. On the whole page, the goodness. Search on the cross. Goes out of the clock at night. Um, well, just as a side, a side on the whole pool thing, um, I am an open water swimmer, and there's there's a couple of open water events coming up this summer, mm -hmm. and that's another way to focus people. We live on an mm -hmm. island; we can swim in the ocean. Every beach is a water park, uh, and you know we can uh, for those we can build. You know, there are people in the community who are interested uh, and are doing things like uh, uh, round bow and swims and, and, and various open water swims and so on. There's a yeah. boyer to bowing. So, you know, we can also remind people that, you know, yeah. there's, 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 there, there are interested people excited about swimming on this island who are, who are swimming. You know, why, do, why do we get these people, these pool people, to divert their attention? To That's making uh, draft a lake a public uh, sort of lake, and non-motorized and non-motorized uh, kayaks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so there's another great idea, like you know, use what you why, have. Why, why can't you swim in there? Wasn't well, that water? Or that water, water, supply? Ah, water, <laughs> water, water supply, water supply. You know, you know look at Watkin Lake. Look at Watkin Lake. Yeah. Old yeah. belly net comes out of Watkin Lake. Like it's mm. Well, but anyway, yeah. Could so. be cool. Yeah. See, I don't swim in the ocean. I live on the island. I've been here for 40 years. I'm terrified of the ocean. I won't do this. Just won't swim in the ocean. Is it a shark? Is it a shark? <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep thing. It's just the whole. I can't yeah. see down there. Don't want to be. Don't want to know what's down there. Yeah. You can play just some skin. Right? I do. You that's play, that's right. right. You just like, but I'm saying I don't mean that in any bit. It's like yes. something for everybody. That's I'm a land guy. Yeah. yeah. But I'm also not a pool. I, I'm not promoting the pool. At all. Hot tubs. So we have uh, <laughs> 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 and glasses of water. <laughs> 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 a nice hot bathtub. Um, so you, an action item would be that you are going to address that with, with the communications committee. Yes. Uh, is are there any other items that need to be discussed? Oh, we're doing another meeting. Did we already book the other meeting? Yeah. Wasn't that too close together and we we're going to discuss? We're not. Yeah, no, it's on here. It's oh, it is on there? Okay. Yeah, um, April 11th. April 11th. April 11th. Yeah. Okay. Five. Um, Let me know what time that's in. Because I was just getting tired. I was just like, oh, I should have gone a earlier. <laughs> 20 minutes ahead of time. Wait, you know what? I'm dropping kids <laughs> off. And the fire going. So when is spring break? March 19th. Oh, okay. And the week after, whatever that, those okay. two weeks, and then it's Easter weekend. Okay. March, last and weekend. last weekend of March, and then, yeah. So spring break sort of starts on the 17th. Yes. 
This, that's the Saturday. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shall we, does adjourn. somebody want to adjourn the meeting? Well, we'll move that we adjourn the meeting and meet again on April 11th. Right. At so five o'clock. Mm -hmm. At five o'clock. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. All in favor? Yeah. I want to